I'm Jed Meltzer. I'm a neurorehabilitation scientist here at Baycrest. One of the greatest challenges in our research is understanding the difference between uh, an adaptive change and a pathological change in the brain. So when people uh, have a disease or are simply in the process of aging, uh, it's easy to show that the brain changes and how the brain processes information also changes. Uh, but it's really not easy to say whether a change is a compensation or whether it's just the effect of the problem to begin with. So teasing that apart is a major part of our research challenge going forward. The most interesting thing for me, I think, as I've transitioned into doing research on patients is uh, how important individual variability is in our studies. So if we're trying to study how a person recovers from a brain disease, such as a stroke or dementia, um, every person is going to recover a little bit differently and when we're trying to study the healthy normal brain um, we try to get rid of all that variability by averaging everyone together and yet for responding to a disease uh, that outcome varies across people and the most important thing is to understand how the brain mechanisms that correlate with that outcome uh, vary across our patients. Some of the most important influences on my research uh, obviously have been uh, my mentors, but probably more than that uh, have been some of the individual patients that I've studied. I think uh, some patients uh, are so interesting just in their own right as a single individual, but that often feeds back into your entire research program and you may find something very strong and interesting in one person and then try to decide if you can find it in others uh, more subtly. So. Uh, I really remember probably three or four individual patients who have influenced my entire research career. Mentorship is important, of course, in all scientific fields, but uh, especially in primary research, uh, there's not really a standard curriculum to learn to uh, carry out your program of research. Uh, everyone has a different set of skills, and each one of us at Baycrest, for example, uh, could not replace the others. Uh, we each uh, bring a unique research profile to the institute. And uh, the way you acquire your profile is uh, through teaching yourself and being taught by your mentors. So it's really important to surround yourself uh, in the right environment. And I've been lucky enough to have that in my career, and I hope that I'm part of providing that to the next generation here. I'm Jed Meltzer, a scientist at Baycrest, and my research will transform the journey of aging. <laughs>